Now, let's talk about DNA replication. So, if we want to translate the DNA into protein, here's my code. Whatever it is, let's make up a code. A, T, C, 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 A, G, G, T, A, G, C. I just made that up, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need one more. Why do you think I needed one more? When we talk about the code, if this code is going to be the code for proteins, what do you know about proteins? What are they made of? You know it. It's got a central carbon, it's got an amine group and it's got a carboxyl group. Correct. It's an amino acid. That's the structure right there of an amino acid. An amine group, a carbon, a what? Yep. A carboxyl group. It's connected to an R group and of course it's got an H on the other, on the other bonding site. So the proteins are gonna be a chain of these amino acids. So it's gonna be some kind of amino acid, connected to some kind of amino acid, connected to some kind of amino acid, in a long chain. Alright. And this bond connecting these amino acids together is called a peptide bond. A polypeptide, so each of these things, these amino acids are also called a Good job. A peptide. So, that's a peptide bond. So, that connection between these amino acids is called a peptide bond because these amino acids are also called peptides. Okie doke. Alright, so the code. Inside the gene the code is a series of words. And each word is the name of one of the amino acids. You know how many amino acids there are? Yep. It's actually 20. 20 amino acids. So, 20 different amino acids. So, if I've only got four letters A, T, C, and G obviously one letter cannot mean one amino acid. Cause there'd only be four and it cannot be that. Cause there's 20. Alright. So the actual number of letters that are, the word is 3. So these 3 letters right here, are the code word or the name of I don't know, the name is probably not a good way to call it cause the amino acids do have names. But it's the code word that means a particular amino acid. That's why I wanted 12 so that I can do them in groups of 3. Okay? Now I could have used any combination that gave us a group of 3. But, but this way I have 3, 3, 3 and 3. So I have 4 words. So, I'm going to have a code here that's ultimately going to describe 4 amino acids in a chain. Now your typical protein is probably hundreds of amino acids. So we're just doing four because it'll fit on a paper and once you see the process it'll all work. Okay? So, the process will actually all work. Um, just the same way on, and on, and on so that you end up with hundreds of amino acids. Okay? So, here's the code in the DNA. Now that's, that's one side. One side's the code, the other is just the what? Good job. Compliment. Alright.
so the complement strand is over here someplace. There's an enzyme that separates them out so that we can just make a copy of the gene for that one code, the code for that one gene. Alright.